Hello, hello everybody, and welcome back to Galactic Gaming. Today we're going to be playing Bottle Skyblock, Episode 1. It's basically just Skyblock, but everything's in a bottle. You can get it off the Minecraft Bedrock Edition Marketplace. So let's get right on into it. Unlike normal Skyblock though, you don't start with a chest that'll give you everything you need to make a cobblestone generator. You have to find what you need to make a cobblestone generator. Which really isn't that hard. But it's pretty cool. There's a cow here, which will be my friend. And for starter food, you could have some of the fish that's down there. But what I, but what I would do is go to that cow island over there and use that half of those hay bales to make bread because it's just so much easier. Now let me break this tree, turn it all into planks, and man, there are so many cool sky blocks. It's really cool. I think that it being bottles is just so smart. So let me make my crafting table and a pickaxe. So that lava right there is just one source block, but you'll use it to make the cobblestone generator. And then you use the iron to pick up the lava and stuff. Super cool. Okay. Now let me get all the iron. So you only need three iron for a bucket, but I would just collect all of them so they'll all be smelting and stuff. Now. So there's only three spots with iron. Here, that big spot right there, and this little spot there. I'm pretty sure. Is it bad? Yeah, that's it. Lightning. Wait, if lightning strikes on the roof of one of the bottles, does it end up catching on fire? Or like the corks, whatever you call it? It's, uh, now, now I'm kind of wondering what would happen. Probably something cool. Wow, that's a lot of light. Okay. That is not normal. Now, let me make a furnace. Start heating up all the iron. That is a lot of lightning. Okay. Now we just wait for all of this to cook up. The last piece of iron is almost done. I think we only used two pieces of coal. So now we should be able to make a bucket. And then a sword. A pickaxe. And an axe. We can even make a shovel. Okay, that is perfect. I think that's exact. I think that's why they gave us exactly that much iron. I mean, it makes sense. Okay, so I should probably grab this. Now up here, we'll make the cobblestone generator. I want to get all this lava first. Though. I do it right. Let me break all this stuff first. Okay, so just right here. That's where the lava goes. That's where the water goes. And the lava, or I mean the water, is down here. And then that should be a working cobblestone generator. So I would put like some wood thing here because it takes longer to break actually i would put this wood thing here so the cobblestone has somewhere to go and then you just start mining forever well until you have enough to get over to one of the islands 
and that's a stack. So now we place down our crafting table and plant this sapling. Actually, I should probably plant both these saplings. But then, now we craft almost two stacks of slabs. Okay. So right here is perfect. We're going to go over to this cow skywalk. Man, my iron pickaxe is already almost broken. It's not good. Should also probably make a stone hoe. Went a little bit too far. That could have been really bad. Okay. And now we're here. Okay. So I don't think I should have to feed all the feed all these hay bales to the cows yet. I think I should use them for um for bread. Cause what how Wait, what? How did my lava burn that down? What? Okay, we just, no, no fire, no fire. Stop it, fire. Um, I don't know how that happened. Okay, yeah, that's what I wanted, some seeds. Then I'll make a stone hoe so we can start having a wheat farm. Shouldn't be too hard. And that's why I wanted bread, because we are out of hunger. Okay, so how many seeds do I have? It's a good amount. Let me just get one more cobblestone. Okay, perfect. And we can make our... You know, first of all, I should probably make an infinite water source. That just seems like a good idea. And another sapling. Okay. So if I do that, let me just grab this water real quick, put it here. And then I grab one, put it there. So I think that the perfect place for a wheat farm would be right here. Let me move this sapling. Wow, we have a lot of saplings. Okay. So now if we do this, even the infinite water source will help some. This will be the perfect place to grow our wheat. Yeah, perfect. Our six current seeds. I like it. So now we should probably I don't know what we should do. If I had more iron I would make shears and go to the sheet bottle over there so I can make a bed but I don't have iron. Gotta go to that ore place eventually. I'm thinking I bridge over to the nether. I might, already, I'm like, I might already have enough slabs for that, actually. Let me try. It's nighttime, though, so I gotta be very careful. Hmm. Actually, I think I'll go like this. Wow, that does not look safe. This is one of the cool things about bridging on bedrock. You can do this. You might be able to do this on Java too, but I don't think you can. I forget that you can do it sometimes on bedrock too, so. Okay. 
Okay, and... Right here. I'm gonna try to MLG water bucket, because that sounds like fun. Okay, let me just go over here real quick and grab a bucket of water, which I should honestly always have on me anyways. So let me put some water right there. So every resource is valuable, so anytime I break a dirt block or anything, I like have to try to get it because there are only a certain amount of things that you'll have infinite of. Like you'll have infinite wood. I mean, since there's bamboo over there, we'll probably be able to have infinite um, scaffolding. Yo, okay, I'm too good. Don't e don't like don't even talk to me, man. I'm so good. Yeah, but so on s this sky block, we'll only have a certain amount of infinite resources. We'll have bone blocks from a mob farm that we'll make eventually, and it's really not many. Like maybe iron if I make an iron farm. I don't know if there are any villagers there. So every resource is valuable, unless you have infinite of it, like cobblestone. Wait. It's the nether sky block too. We're about to find out. This is gonna be pretty cool. I feel like I should have gold on or something, but okay. Um Wow. This looks cool. There's a lot of ghasts. Don't think they can see me. So I've played on some sky skyblocks before that whenever you go through, everything under you is like nether. Like whenever you go through the portal. And what if it's like that, usually if you bridge out far enough, you can find actual um like what's it called? Actual I really can't think of what it's called. Uh actual nether. Wow. I feel dumb now. Um So yeah, this is the nether. You can't place water. I think that this was made before 1.16 though, because there's none of the 1.16 items. But yeah, it's pretty cool. I feel like, wow, that is a lot of lava. I just realized that. That's a lot of lava. Okay. I think I saw a blaze spawner too. But I don't think there will be any wither skeletons. So, how do I get back up? Um, yep. Towering with slabs. It's the most efficient thing ever. I know. Well, I think that that's a good way to end this episode. The next episode, we'll just see what we do. I don't know yet. I think that this is a pretty fun skyblock. Y'all should tell me what y'all think. I really like it. And I think it could be a fun series. I wonder if there are any end cities. Well, anyways, I'll see y'all later. And I hope that y'all have a great and amazing day. Goodbye.